Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. Last time, we explored the Ice Age, took some pictures with a lot of trouble, saw Clockwork on top of that ice thing, which he's not there anymore. And, um, that's kind of weird. I guess it's because you can only see him in photo op missions or something. And we also briefly met the Grizz, which I think is my favorite enemy so far. Um... But now we're going to start this mission, which probably will introduce us to our next ancestor. Alright, we need to figure out what that bear is up to. That crack in the wall looks like the perfect entrance. But you'd better keep a low profile until we know what's going on. I hear you, pal. Okie dokie. I am really looking forward to meeting our Cooper ancestor if there even is one back this far, which I assume there is. Take this baby whatever's. Aha! Eggs. <laughs> I love how the money is kind of like dented and whatnot. Like it's all primitive and whatnot. That's cool. Let's get ourselves in there. I knew that trivia because I know Sly 2 like the back of my hand. There it is, Sly 2, right there. Right underneath the palm. Arpeggio. He's a cool one. I want to meet the Grizz. I want to meet the Ancestor. I want to meet them all. I love the gri the Grizz. Man, that's... No, you know, I like that name. I'm f quite fond of it, and I'm quite fond of the bling he wears and the tracksuit he wears. Totally fits in. None of these bad guys have bothered fitting into, like, these areas, except for Toothpick. Still no word from Carmelita? No worries, Sly. I'm sure we'll hear from her soon. Lair of the bear. Oh geez, it's tar pits. Gross. Um Wow, okay. Um let's find our way over there. Oh, I thought we were going to have to jump on top of the tar balls, but it looks like they're just gonna be a pain and nasty. Um, oh no, not you. Can I steal some money from you? I like money. Thank you. Ooh, an arrowhead. Lava rock spearhead. You know, I haven't really seen much of a, like, a change in the items that you pick up. It's a lot of the treasures, actually. Oh my, these things, these things, like, give you the cash, practically. These things, those things deal it out, mushrooms. Ow. You think it would be really hard to crawl under this? It's all ice and whatnot. I heard when Joe messed up, the boss turned him into a coat for that little paradox guy. Yeah, that little paradox is bad news. I heard last time he was here, he yanked this one guy's tusks, just for fun! Ouch. Yeah, good luck talking to the ladies without any tusks. Uh, <laughs> these guys have some, like, really good English for primitive, like, society people. I don't know, why do I refer to them as, like, primitive society individuals? I don't know. I guess it's because they're from the Ice Age, but you know, they could be intelligent. There's a lot of people we don't, or a lot of things we don't know about people back then. And geez, I could just get money all day from these shrooms. Uh, that sounded really bad, and I did not intend for it to. Oh my gosh, I'm just pooping out words. <laughs> okay, let's get as much money as we can. I'm quite fun. Oh, okay. <laughs> don't go whacking around people's shrooms. Um, mushrooms. Mushrooms. Normal, giant mushrooms. Watch yourself, Sly, and don't alert the guards! Oh, I won't, yeah, Bentley. Know. Even though I already did. This thing is huge. Where's the giant crown that we saw earlier? That thing was impressive. But I do not see it here. Um, maybe... For a second I thought we'd be inside here, but no, you can see the sky. Um, there I go again, being crazy. Can we go over this way? It looks like we're going to have to go that way. However, there's plenty of money I can get down here. And I like plenty of money. I am fond of it indeed. Ooh, but these guys are in the way. How can I get around? Oh wait, the thing I saw over here. Climbing! Duh. Let's go. Doo 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 doo. These plants are really weird. They're quite floppy. <laughs> Give me your money, floppy plant. Aha! I happen to like the- Ew, they make like really disgusting noises when you hit them. The mushrooms are fine, but those big ones, they made like, they made tootin' noises. How inappropriate. Ugh, that's nasty. 
Um, that would be really hard to climb an icicle. This would, this would be a difficult task. Oh, actually it is. Okay, I was like, why am I not sliding? But you are. Wow. I'm glad I'm not that poor guy. What's weird is that he looks kind of familiar. Wait. Holy missing links. Sly, that's a prehistoric raccoon. I wonder if he could be... My ancestor? It's a distinct possibility. Let's help him out. Sly, I have an idea. But you need to get that saber-toothed tiger skin. And just don't let the guards see you. I'm on it, Bentley. One tiger skin coming up. Well, look who's at the party. Why am I not surprised he's part of this? That cave man's club! Doesn't it look almost like a... cane? Sly, you need to hurry! I think you might want to use the paraglider here, Sly! Okay, so we, we do need to hurry indeed. I don't think we want our very first us to be sacrificed for whatever evil intent and purpose. Um, that would probably mean we die. Because, you know, if there's no you, ever, there's no you ever. That's bad. It's not good. This guy's painting is not improving my opinion of him. Forget about the art. See that key? I bet it unlocks that door. Right. Time for some real art. The art of pickpocketing. These guys put their faces on all of their to- Ooh! Come on now! Hold that big fool still! Crap, okay. Um, this guy is really horrible. He's getting his artistic envision. Ooh. Oh, please do not rhyme. <laughs> that is nasty. You got the key! Go grab that tiger skin, Sly! Okie dokie, my pleasure. That guy is a dork. Actually, he's pretty funny. Why do the bad guys put themselves on their doors? I don't get it. Excellent, Sly. Now get that tiger skin. Okay, I get it, Bentley. Thank you. Um, what is this of? Maybe just him with gold or something. I don't know. Um, I just like to get a look at these flowers. Some of these are cool. This looks like a puzzle, though. Or like, you know, a fill-in-the-color line thing. I don't know what I'm talking about. Grab this. Oh, hey! Hey, hey, hey! That's a mirror. And there's a sly icon back there. A sly icon. Ha <laughs> ha! Grab that. Get off the freaking bouncy bed. Shaped like a heart. Oh boy, Sly's gadget grid has a new costume. Oh, thank you for telling me. Um, what? Oh my gosh! This is the best costume so far. This is so hilarious. Oh my gosh! This is the best! Can I attack in it? No, I cannot. Well, except for this, but... Whoa! That's really hilarious. Um, okay. This is the cool... <laughs> this is really funny. Um, the fact that you just kind of flop around on the ground, and you could just leap on all these jerks. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Take that! Oh, and that's how we get across the balloons whenever we see them. Awesome! Um... I don't think I need to play dead here, do I? What do I need to do? Oh, I need to get in there. Actually get out the costume and do this. This is a very thin icicle, and it can hold my weight quite well. Um, ooh, these are kind of hard to climb. Ugh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, oh crap! Ugh. I'm really good. Um, give me some money. We're heading over here. <laughs> I love this costume. 
It is the best. Beats the jail thing with the ball or whatnot. That thing was cool. This is the best. Now we just need to meet Bob though. Let's see if he beats uh if he beats uh Tennessee Kid. Because Tennessee was pretty sweet. I like Tennessee Kid. Ooh, get across that. I learned this already. However, that is quite handy. Okay, what are those ropes attached to? Okay, they- I thought they would like go- I thought they were going through the lava, like onto him. I'm like, are you- are you serious? I don't think that works that way. Um, how do I lock on this guy? I can't remember. Uh, let's go for you. Yes. Oh my, this looks- this looks amazing. This is awesome. Cyclone Pounce. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> Getting my wildebeest action on, roar, and my floppy weirdness on. Jump! That painting's not half bad. I mean, it's okay looking. It doesn't make me want to puke. Take this! The only the the thing I don't like about the Grizz is that he rhymes all the time. Ugh. Big guy, what do you say we get out of here? Well, no, we've never met, but a reliable source tells me we're distantly related. I'm not sure what to say. Um, it's truly amazing to meet you. Uh, what's your name? Um, my name's Sly. Sly Cooper. What's yours? Right. How about I just call you Bob? He's right, Sly. You two should get out of there before more guards show up. Come on, follow me. Um, okay, I guess we'll do it your way. Okay, apparently everyone speaks caveman. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> this guy's pretty cool. He's pretty funny. I like Bob. Um, I like him a lot. <laughs> the first Cooper. The Cooper to begin all Coopers. This is exciting. We got Bob oh my. safely back to the hideout, where everyone took an immediate liking to him. And he took an immediate interest in our gadgets. While he was busy, Bentley provided the background on his former captor. The guy's name was Grizz, and he'd made his fame in the art world. Once a common street thug, he'd been thrust into the limelight when he was plucked from the gutter and made famous by a prominent pop artist. Grizz's primitive artwork was hailed as a brilliant new style called Paleo Graffiti. And for a while, he enjoyed a celebrity status. His fame was short-lived, however, when people realized his art was really just... bad. Resentful, he returned to his criminal roots, quickly becoming the top art thief on Interpol's most wanted list. One of Carmelita's main targets, it was now clear how he'd managed to evade her capture for so long. After we pried Bob away from Bentley's tools, he explained how Grizz had appeared and started harvesting all the pterodactyl eggs in the area, eliminating his role as food provider for the tribe and greatest egg thief ever. Depressed, he'd gone into a slump. 
and gotten out of shape. Which allowed Grizz to capture him and take the new tool he'd invented to help him steal eggs. So it looked like the very first Cooper Kane had been stolen as well. Great. We may have rescued Bob from the arena, but we still needed to find out what sort of operation Grizz was running for La Paradox, and why it involved stealing all the eggs. We also needed Bob's help to find the rest of the van parts, and that meant we had to get him back into climbing shape, fast. Oh, well, this will be exciting. <laughs> He's such a spaz. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love him. I love Bob. Don't know how I feel about the Grizz, though. He's kind of disgusting. Um, He's really nasty. I have nothing against street art. But that rhyming, oh my word, that rhyming is awful. I do not dig it. <laughs> my word. That is all I have to say. My word. Oh my. The fact that he rhymes a lot of the time and he thinks he's so swell and he bops around in his big purple pink jumpsuit thing. Or track, track suit. He's creepy. He is creepy. And I don't know how I feel about him. Because inside, I look at him and I go, oh my gosh, he rhymes all the time. Oh my gosh. I am horribly slow, but this is this is crazy. I am I am caveman sly. Oh my word. Bob Cooper. The very first Cooper. So we've got a mission getting stronger coming up. Uh how can we be any stronger than what we already are? We have a giant bone club. Oh yeah, we don't have a cane! I was, real, I was like, where the heck's the... Why, why isn't it shaped like a cane? I'm like, oh, it got stolen the first mission. Ah, I put things together in my brain because that's how you do it. Ah, uh, okay. Um, let's find our way up there so we can be there to start the mission off. When is time? Oh, it's right there. Okay, oh, oh no. Um, how... Oh my, he is just knocking the crap out of things. Oh my word, I love Bob. He's just like Murray, except more smashy. Actually, Murray is pretty sm Murray's punchy, Bob's smashy. This is sweet. I like Bob. Um, he's really cool. Um, I paused to see if I could see how many doodahs were- Oh yeah, I can check how many doodahs are in the area. There are 11 sly masks in this place. I am missing a lot of crap. Um, <laughs> wow. Okay. Why am I walking around this? What am I looking for? We've got like two minutes left. What should I do? This music is cool. It's super jazzy. I love jazzy things. I'm gonna beat the snot out of you, sir. Um, does he work like Murray? Oh no, I can just... I don't know how I'm doing that, but I am. <laughs> face. Oh my gosh. That was pretty funny. Oh. Haha. -ha. I like Bob. This is cool. Anyway, thank you all for watching, Die You Scumbag. Um, yes, thank you all for watching. I believe in the next episode of Let's Play Sly 4, Thebes in Time, we're gonna play as Bob Cooper and begin getting stronger. Um, does this guy bounce? Yes, he does. Haha. -ha. Can I go this way? I don't know why I would, but I don't know. Um, I wonder, can this guy jump and hit the circle button? Doesn't look like he'd be able to. But he's a Cooper. But he's gigantic. I don't know. Unga. Anyway, thank you all for watching. In the next episode, we shall do that. See you guys then. Goodbye. <laughs>